What's the name of your company? Team Software. And what's your S- name? Scott Gauger. What's your position, Scott? I'm the Vice President of Sales. Tell me what uh, Team Software does. Well, we sell uh, con- we sell the contract security companies. We sell software solutions to our to our customers. That's a very broad term. Tell me how. Tell me what kind of software solutions. Well, everything from scheduling to time and attendance and billing and payroll, uh, everything you really need to run your business. All in one application. That's correct. Which is different than most of the products I've seen. I'm not going to name names, but there are other scheduling products, there are other business products. You're all in one. That's correct. One of the the few that offer that. That's uh, right. And that's called a relational database with 125, 50, 150 tables in it that pull all the data together. And how long have I known you? 10 years now? How long have I known you? 10? 10 years Yeah, at probably least? around that, Maybe. Chuck, yeah. Yeah, and I've used this product a long time, and it really is the best one on the market. There's no doubt about it. It's the best product on the market. Well, I appreciate you saying no that. We think so, too. What's cool about it is that I have one database to put all my information in. I can put uniforms in there. I can put schedules in there. I can put payroll. I can put um, business analysis for job costing, right? That's correct. So tell me about anything new you're doing right now? Do anything on special events or any new modules for things like that? Well, we've been focusing a lot on, a lot of, a lot of our attention's been on the mobile piece. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Android and Apple devices now, you know, we're trying to push that information out to the security officer or the the scheduler in the field. That's uh, so important. Supervisor, uh, be able to make them make good decisions while they're out in the field. So a lot, a lot of effort in that area. Uh, We're recently, as far as the new things we're coming out with, we're, uh, going to be coming out with something called open claims where if I've got open positions I can text out a, a message to everybody that might be interested in taking that position and they can they can respond and then and say they'd like to take it and it fills the position automatically. Oh that's great. I mean yeah. I used to do it with the call mall program where I'd send out a voice broadcast you know but yeah. this is great. This is all. Mobile's where it's at. I mean there's some companies here that get that and a lot don't get it still which I'm kind of amazed by. Yeah. I don't know why they don't get it. Um, it's so important for somebody to be able to fill that schedule like right now and your program was so useful at the Academy Awards every year. Remember, we did that for five years. I scheduled over 500 people every year at the Academy Awards, and I don't think there's any other program I could schedule 500 guards with, you know, and yeah. get it done. Yeah. So it was, it was really cool. High volume. You yeah. Did. So on the mobile app you're going to work on, is this going to be something that the guard subscribes to and he can only see his schedule and you can push the schedule to him, or is it just for opening positions yep. or what? No, that's correct. Uh, the, the employee, besides being able to claim an open position right. you know, for work, uh, they can see their pay vouchers online. They can see their schedules. Oh, their you know, pay vouchers too. Yeah. Oh, that's outstanding. Yeah. Not uh, in California though. Uh, you have yeah. to have a hard copy. You can you can provide a hard copy. Okay, to good. Them don't as well, don't anybody get you in trouble right. with that one. No, no. <laughs> California makes California sure. laws. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then they can make they make change requests for like name and address changes and things like that. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so some of that type of thing. So now here's yeah. a question I had for another integrator. There's an integrator down here uh, that interviewed has a really good program that will interface with almost anybody else's program. I mean, they could pull Win Team into it, they could pull um, competitors into it and have one interface. Do you guys allow interfacing through a, a, a GUI, a graphic user interface? Yeah, we, we use APIs, they call them. So a lot, of the, a lot of the way things are going now is through web services, they call it. So right. it's interchange of data between computers, basically. So um, we do some of that, right, with other third-party vendors. You almost uh, have to nowadays. Yeah. You have to be able to share and work together right. on things you know we've linked in with some people that uh, you know to do applicant tracking uh also to do uh, like document management uh tax filing services some things like that so we've got oh, good interfaces Excellent. to those types of systems well it's 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 all it's all inclusive i mean that's yep. the comprehensive yep. comprehensive beauty of the program is that you can bring these other people into it make the make right. the thing work yeah right our end goal is to try to find good solutions for our customers right right, right. Uh, we think we have a lot of things but there's some things that they need to utilize in their business that we try to integrate with so so they can get, you know, be more efficient and be more productive and, and make some more money. So now one thing I, yeah, make more money, that's the whole point. And I have to say that I think WinTeam probably is the best program out there to help you make money. Because I can push a button and do a job cost analysis and know how much I spent on pencils at a particular post where a lot of programs just show you the schedule. I think that's really right. important. Yeah, job costing is very important to manage those margins. You know, you gotta, gotta stay on top of that to make money, so. Right. Yeah. What do you think the, uh, the industry is going to as far as Guards versus technology. Yeah. Uh, my guess is guards maybe going a different direction, and we're going to go more to t- technology. That's my. What do you see in the industry? What's yeah. the trend? 
Yeah, I see a blended approach, uh, you know, where they're using the, the, the cameras and the uh, monitoring and all that type of thing as, as in addition to, you know, officers as well. So it is kind of, you know, morphing into a, a you know, different type of a, a model some, in some cases. Do you have any way to track um, in your stats? I mean, do you see a decrease in the number of guards in your customer schedules, for example? I have not seen that, no. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. you, you, of all people, might know I, that no. if yeah, you have the same amount of clients and their number of guards getting scheduled goes down, yeah. that means a, yeah. a change in the business, so to speak. I think they supplement with cameras and things where they need to, you know, yeah. and then there's there's still a need for the, the human being, so <laughs> the officer, so, right. So now, Wind Team is unique in that it's uh, still a uh, employee-owned business? That's correct. That's yes. very unique. Tell me yes. about that. Well, we've got uh, about 95 employees in our in our, in our uh company right now uh, and we are employee owned we have been for the last five years okay uh, so we all have a vested interest in making sure that the company does well and we service our customers well and so forth so it's been a great it's been a great thing for us yeah. so here's the secret to any buyers listening out there I could always get Scott on the phone I could always get Dan on the phone I could always get Jill on the phone really I mean you almost always because the sales guy you always want to answer the call but even the technical people Dan there was a very short delay in response if any yeah. Even at weird hours, if something went wrong with the system, I can get on the phone. I think that's really critical. Most places, nope. they sell you the box of software. Yours is online, of course, but then they disappear. So nope. how do you guys maintain that? How do you keep that, well, that it's, performance it's, up? It's, it's Maybe because it's owner, you know, yeah. uh, employee owned. Maybe that's part of it. Well, that's, that's part of it. There's a vested interest in, in, obviously, we want to help our customers how we can, but we actually have a client services department that's all customer facing. So the things like the sales department, account management, uh, the, the customer service reps, uh, that we all have a you know goals of, of servicing the customer better so uh, I think that's part of it as well is that we recognize that you know that's what we're in business for is to service our customers. This is a really big program as far as what it can do. What's the smallest company that, not, not by name but I mean what, what's the smallest type of company that uses you either guard or janitorial and yeah. how many employees do they have? How, I mean how small would somebody want to invest in this? You know when people uh, probably 50 or 75 employees okay. uh, on up uh, when people start to get to that and you know that that level it, it becomes a little more cumbersome to try to manage the schedules and manage people and manage hours right. and, and that type of thing. And so, that, is that economic for them to enter if, if they're that small a company? Yeah we, they can get started very economically at, a, at you know a lower end if you will and, right. then, and then grow it with their business as their business grows so that's the beauty of as well as being able to, you know, get you on a platform where you can grow your business and know you're not going to have to change to something else as you get bigger. And it's on a it's on a lease basis. There's no software on your local right. computer. It's software all up in the cloud. Service. It's all in the cloud, right? right. And uh, backups are done. Yep. Meticulously. Backups. Yep. We do those backups religiously <laughs> every hour, and then we do oh, offsite hour. backups Excellent. and things like that. Yeah. yeah redundancy. Yeah. Yeah. Because my scrutinizing listeners want to know those things. They want to know. Here's another question. Uh, are you still allowing clients to write their own queries for yeah. the database? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a couple tools to do that. That's yeah. one thing I did years ago is I would yeah. write these crazy queries for the database that says, I need to know all the guards that aren't working on a Tuesday, you know, with a full moon and they don't have any pants or some crazy thing. And you guys could pull that data out of there for me. Yeah. Yep. Usually I use it for GPS uh, scheduling. Oh, did you ever fix that? Not fix, but did you ever put that in where you have GPS scheduling so I can... Here's my here's my post uh, at the uh, Georgia World Center, and I need to know all the guards that live around here. Do yeah. Have, now, does yeah. that come up on a map, or is it just a list? No. Well, you can see it's a list of uh, it's based on Google mapping, but it tells you how far the uh, officer lives from where the job site is. So see, that's can, so important. Yeah. I used to Especially. do that manually years ago, but it, it yeah. really helps your staffing because if you can get the guy to come to work, that's five minutes away. Yeah. He's not missing a bus. His car didn't break down. Yeah. You know, his sister forgot to drop him off. He's going to come to work, and that really helps too. Yeah, no, a lot of people, especially in bigger cities, they use that, you know, yeah. because it's the logistics are, are important. Got any uh, secret squirrel stuff coming up you want to foreshadow? You don't have to say anything specific if it's too secret, but. Uh, yeah. No, uh, you know, the other, besides the mobile push, we, we've spent a lot of time on the ACA uh, insurance benefits, uh, you know, over the last couple of years to get ready for Obamacare, right? Oh, yes, <laughs> talk about that. that. That's a yes. big deal. So uh, we've got, you know, the. the, the like I said, we spent a lot of development time getting that ready. Uh, we're on the final stretches of that now that we kind of know what the reporting needs are going to be. Right. Uh, so, uh, so you know, being able to... Speak to people about it. It's so complicated. Just give me a, you know, a, yeah, well, a Chuck Harold stupid version yeah. so I can understand <laughs> it. I mean, each state's going to have kind of a different rule, a different buy-in maybe, a different uh, exchange. Is that kind of what... Well, there's, the yeah, there's with? different ways you can provide the insurance, obviously. Right. But if, even to be, you know, to qualify as far as you have eligible employees, have they worked so many hours that, oh, you know, yes, to be able to, to qualify for benefits. And then, obviously, if you're going to 
uh, provide benefits to those employees as, as opposed to paying the penalty, then right. you, know, you put a benefit package together. Uh, you have to offer that benefit, so we have an online enrollment tool now where you could, the employees can go in and, and enroll in your benefit package. Uh, and well, then that feeds into our win team system, and then we can, uh, you know, report off that and so forth as far as what the government's going to require, not n next year, but the following year right. as far as uh, all the uh, Well, that's so activity. important because they keep changing what full-time means. Yeah. First it's 40, well, then it's 32, then it's 28, and so on. And really, uh, looks like your software is going to be in the compliance business, in a way. Well, you're, yeah, right? exactly. I mean, somebody Very has to, compliant, yes. I have to prove as the yes. employer through win team, Right. that I have so many employees that are on so many hours, and it's got to be right. If it's not right, there's going to be a problem with the government. And I can measure those hours in our system as yeah. well, so I know who's eligible and who's not, and so forth. So. All right, well, folks, you yep. heard it here first. It's a big deal to have that uh, Obamacare compliance thing. That's a big deal. Yep. It's going to be a big deal. Well, Scott, yeah. it's been great talking to you. Anything else you want to put in there? No, I appreciate, uh, right. appreciate uh, the opportunity to be on. This is great. Excellent. Uh, Tell the team yeah. I said hi, and uh, I'm sure I'll land somewhere else and yeah. use your software once again. Well, thank you very much. Right. I appreciate it. Thanks.